up all you lovely learners out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. Today we're talking about how to master the scales. Not just play the scales, but master the scales. We've done a video on this for shape one, but today we're going to be looking at shape two. The pentatonic scale, the most important scale for improvisation, has five distinct shapes and the idea is that you master each one individually for total fretboard freedom. Printable tabs for this tutorial and all our tutorials by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes, cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger, and it will accelerate your learning. Links in the description, including my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons, plus some other links, including the link to Master the Scale Round 1, Shape 1. Time to boogie. Grab that ukulele. Brain and attention span. Once you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in. Let's do it. Pentatonic scale, five different shapes. You want to master each shape independently because then once you learn to connect them, It's game on. So we are doing shape two, but instead of doing it in A minor, we're gonna be doing it in G minor because I wanna show you what that looks like at the top of the fretboard. So the first thing we need to do is review the scale. I have a low G, but you don't need a low G to follow on. In fact, even if you have a high G, I encourage you to play these exercises exactly like I am, just because it increases your fretboard knowledge. G string is open third fret. That's root minor third C string open second fret That is your fourth and fifth intervals First fret of the E string third fret of the E string flat seventh interval root first fret third fret Flat third and fourth again, so we get O three O two one three So that is our G minor pentatonic scale, and that is the one that we are working with. It is shape two of the minor pentatonic. This is also the relative minor for B flat, okay? All right, so the first exercise, we pull it up. This is the hammer on and pull off exercise. We are going to simply run through the scale on the way up, hammering on, on the way down, pulling off. Oh, hammer three. Open hammer two, one hammer three, one hammer three. On the way down, three pull one, three pull one, two pull oh, three pull zero. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is try to get that in time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I didn't practice this with the metronome because I don't want clicking throughout the whole lesson, but you should be doing this with a metronome if you have one at home. We're doing these in eighth notes. So it's one and, okay? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so that is exercise number one. Exercise number two is what we're gonna call skip a note. Now, the reason we're doing these exercises is because if, if you only play the notes in order, you're only going to be able to play them in order when it comes time to improvise. You're not going to be as comfortable skipping a note, doing leaps, and these leaps, these ideas, hammering on, pulling off, changing speeds, triplets to 16th, this is what gives your solo interest. So by practicing it this way, you'll be much more prepared to play it in a much more interesting manner when it comes time to improvise. So here... It's open G string, open C string, third fret of the G, second fret of the C. So we get. And then we're going to go open C string, first fret of the E, second fret of the C string, third fret of the E. So the next measure. And then the next one we go first fret of the E. 1st fret of the A, 3rd fret of the E, 3rd fret of the A. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That 
that's maybe my favorite exercise. Do it at different speeds. Do it with eighth notes. Uh, reverse it. Go down. Mix it up. But that's the foundation of that. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. All right, and you could even go back to the G note if you wanted to finish on the root. Okay, so that is exercise number two. Let's take a look at exercise number three. In the last exercise, we skipped a note. In this one, we're going to skip a string. Open G string, first fret of the E, third fret of the G string, third fret of the E. So you start off. For the three and three, I like to use my middle finger and my ring finger, but it's also worth practicing your ring and your pinky. Oh, one, three, three. Then we play the open C string against the first fret of the A, and the second C string against the third fret of the A. So the second measure. So we get. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And those are just quarter notes. You would practice that one with your metronomes right on the clicks, okay? Something like that. Okay, the next one is the triplet. So much of blues is playing in triplets and you're gonna get a lot of really cool ideas from your solos with triplet timing, especially if you're mixing triplets in regular times. This is a must do. You gotta know how to do this stuff if you want to improvise or even compose your own solos. So we're gonna go, I also, surprisingly, this is the one that gave me the most trouble when I was putting this lesson together. Because we're gonna start O, three, O. And for whatever reason, I've had a lot of trouble with that triplet. It was a lot easier for me to go three, O, three. Tripola, as opposed to tripola. So we go O, three, O. O, two, O. One, three, one. One, three, one. Tripola, 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 tripola. My index finger here, I'm using it for both of them. I just play it here and then I roll it over flat to get the middle of my finger to play that part. So we get O, three, O, O, two, O, one, three, one, one, three, one. Tripola, 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 tripola. The way down, we're gonna do the mirror image. Three, one, three. 313 303 For whatever reason, like I said, that one was a lot easier for me. If you're struggling with this exercise, try the second measure first. Maybe it'll be easier for you too, and you can get your timing down better that way. From the top, one, two, three, four pola, one pola, two pola, three pola, four pola, one pola, two pola, three pola, four pola. There's a little click. Quick, let's slow it down. One, two, three, four pola, one pola, two pola, three pola, four pola, one pola, two pola, three pola, four pola. Really important exercise. Okay, so for the next one, I call this one Leap Up, Run Down. And this is just kind of a custom exercise where we're doing larger leaps forward. Instead of just skipping one note, we're skipping two notes, and then we work our way down. So we skip two notes, and we work our way backwards through the scale. So the first phrase is O, open G, two O on the C, and then third fret. The second half of that, first fret of the E string, 3 1 on the A, and the third fret. So you get 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. The way down, we are just going to do the mirror image 3 1 3 1, 1 and 2 and, third fret of the E string, first and third of the A, third fret with your index finger on the E string. Oh, sorry, first fret. So you get one and two and. Then we third fret of the G, 
open two on the C, open G. Man, that sounds like a melody from a song. What is it? Ah, I, I really don't know, but it's in the back of my mind. If anybody, if that sounds familiar to anybody, let me know. I, but I like it. It's cool. If I can't figure out what it is, I might make it my own song. Okay, so let's play through this one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That exercise is going to help you when you're improvising do much larger leaps in your playing. Which adds a lot of interest to your solo. Okay, next exercise. I'm scrolling with my toe on my iPad. <laughs> I'm sure my wife's going to love that toe print on there. Okay, this one is mixing the quarter tones and the eighth tones. This is mixing timing of the straight and swing time. So we're going to play open G string. Then the triplet's going to go 203. Tripola. So open G, second fret of the C, open C, third fret. One, two, pull the boom. Third beat, index finger, first fret of the E. One, two, pull the boom. The triplet here is going to be third fret, first fret, third fret. So we get one, two, pull up, three, four, pull up. On the way down, we're going to start third fret of the E string, first and third fret of the A, and then the first, I'm sorry, three, and then one, three on the A to the 1st fret, and then we'll land on the 3rd beat, middle finger, 2nd fret. So we get 1, 2, pola, 3, open C string, 3rd fret, open G, 3, 4, pola. So we put all these two measures together, nice and slow, 1, 2, pola, 3, 4, pola, 1, 2, pola, 3, 4, pola. Okay, now we're just going through these pretty quick. The idea is that you get them with me, but you want to incorporate these in your warm up routine, for example. This one and the first one. Or maybe you do shape one for a week and then shape two for a week. Incorporate these in your warm ups and your cool downs. They will pay monster dividends in both your ability to compose melody and your ability to improvise melody, which is improvising soloing. When you're soloing, one way to think about it is soloing, but. You're going to get much cooler ideas if you think about it as improvising melody. Okay, we got just a couple more exercises. This one is one I call outside in. We play the scale on the outside strings and then the inside strings inspired by outside inside finger picking ideas. Open G string, first fret, third fret of the G string, third fret of the A. Those big leaps give you cool ideas. First fret, open, first fret, third fret, third fret. The inside, first fret, oh, or open C, first fret of the E, second fret of the C, third fret. So we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, the next one is called Inside Out, and it's just the opposite. We start one, two. I'm sorry, we start three, two. Third fret of the E string, second fret of the C. And then we play the first fret of the E, open C. Come up here, third fret of the A, third fret of the G. First fret of the A, open low G. So we get... One more exercise, this one's called sixteenths, 
we need to incorporate the 1e and the 2e and the 3e and the 4e into our practice. And what we're going to do here is start off 0, 3, 0, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3. 1 E and a, 2 E and a. Same thing on the way down. 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Let's measure 1. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Count it out loud. If you have never counted 16th notes, the numbers are the quarter notes. 1, 2, 3, 4. The ands are the eighth notes. 1 and, 2 and, 3 and, 4 and. And the 16ths are 1 E. Just the letter E and a, uh, the letter A. One E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. One E and a, uh, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. Okay, so now we get down to the bottom. Next one's gonna be O two O two, or I'm sorry, O three O three. This one for we're gonna play the sixteenths with those two notes happening twice. O three O three. O two, O two, one three, one three, one three, one three. One, three. one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. We put them together. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Woo! And that is the last exercise in our Mastering the Scale Round 2, Shape 2. The vehicle of destruction was our G minor. Now, if you want to transpose these ideas, you have a root note on the G scale and the third fret of the E. So for example, this is a B note here on the seventh fret of the E string, and this is a B note here on the fourth fret of the G string. So the scale here would be four, seven, four, six, five, seven, five, seven. So that's how transmission transposition works you find the root and then just push everything up it also sits inside this g minor chord perfectly and sounds beautiful all right until next time rock and roll have a lovely day cool everyone thank you so much for watching to the very end of the tutorial here at 10thumbspro.com we appreciate you thank you for learning with us thank you for trusting you learning with us thank you for rocking and rolling with us presuming that you did both the rocking and the rolling all right. Okay. New ukulele every single Wednesday and Saturday. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Ring the bell so you never miss a lesson. We're here to make you a better ukulele player. Not just strumming C, F, and G. If that's your thing, that's cool. But we're definitely pushing you way further than that here at Ten Thumbs. Life is good. Catch you next Wednesday or next Saturday. Think about becoming a Patreon. The money you pay for a cheap cheeseburger, well, it's even cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger to become a Patreon. Even cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. How about that? It's pretty cheap, and it will accelerate your learning. Until next time, keep on loving life, keep on rocking and rolling as we've already discussed. See you soon.